present study carried out by CSIR National Environmental Engineering Research Institute NIRI in association with Maharashtra Pollution Control Board highlights the underestimated problem of noise pollution in urban areas of the Mumbai metropolitan region. Spread across an area of 6,355 square kilometer, MMR is situated in the state of Maharashtra, India and consists of nine municipal corporations of Mumbai, Navi Mumbai, Thane, Panvel, Bhivandi Nizampur, Meera Bhayandar, Vasai Virar, Kalyan Dombivili and Ulhasnagar. With a population of over 26 million people, it is considered as the most populous metropolitan region in the world as it attracts thousands of immigrants pan India in search of livelihood, entertainment and ample opportunities for better standard of living. Heterogeneous nature of development taking place all across the MMR has led to high noise levels. The sources majorly include construction and demolition, industrialization, public events and proceedings, festivals along with unimaginable vehicular traffic and honking. Various researchers have determined that honking alone can increase the ambient noise level by 4 to 5 decibels. To ensure appropriate mitigation and implementation of noise management plans by the concerned authority, this study was carried out as per the protocol for ambient noise monitoring given by Central Pollution Control Board. Across MMR, 153 locations were monitored which include area categories of industrial, commercial, residential and silent zone as deemed by the governing authorities. Other categories such as national highway, state highway, major and minor roads in the city limit and railways were also considered. Noise monitoring was carried out for 48 hours continuously on working and non-working day, 24 hours each comprising of daytime 6 am to 10 pm and nighttime 10 pm to 6 am at all the 153 locations. The data was collected and analyzed for noise indices such as LEQ, L10, L50, L90, LMAX, LMIN, LDM and noise exceedance factor. This level across 35 locations of the industrial area in the MMR range from 60 to 95 decibel during day and night time. Out of all the cities, Bhivandi Nizampur was found to be the noisiest city. This city is an emerging industrial hub accommodating numerous warehouses, clusters of small and medium scale industries and also experiences movement of heavy vehicular traffic in the city limit. On the other hand, Due to town planning and late development of industrial zone, Navi Mumbai is the least noisy city with noise levels within the permissible limits. Across 36 locations designated as commercial zone in the MMR, noise level ranged between 65 to 100 decibels. Ulhasnagar is famous for its commercialization and various wholesale markets which make it the noisiest city in this category with noise levels as high as 85 to 90 decibels while Bhivandi Nizampur is the least noisiest city in this category. 48 locations were monitored in residential areas of MMR for working day noise levels. Meera Bhayandar was noisiest while Ulhasnagar was quieter in comparison. On the other hand, on non-working days, Panvel was at the lowest noise level while Ulhasnagar was noisiest among all the nine cities. The study indicates non-working days are noisier in residential areas in comparison to the working days. In Silent Zone, a total of 34 locations were monitored. Surprisingly, Meera Payanda recorded the highest noise level for both the working and non-working day, which clearly indicates that demarcation of Silent Zone is missing out in this developing city. Navi Mumbai and Ulhasnagar were found least noisy on working day and non-working day, respectively. The overall continuous equivalent noise level of all the nine cities indicate that in comparison to Mumbai, other neighboring cities are noisier and exceed the noise level limits for various area categories. Developing cities like Ulhasnagar, Bhivandi Nizampur, Meera Bhayandar, Kalyan Dumbivali and Vasai Virar need to implement noise management plans to ensure the psychological and physiological health of their city dwellers. Noise exceedance factor depicts the extent of violation of permissible noise limits. Across the MMR, NEF ranged from 0.8 to 2 exceeded the threshold of 1 at majority of locations. The study indicates silent zones as worst affected area due to unplanned construction activities, proximity to road, high vehicular traffic and various commercial activities followed by residential areas. This study reveals ambient noise levels violating the permissible limit in MMR across all the area categories due to unplanned land use and vehicular traffic. Unruly commercial and industrial activities have led to extreme noise environment, whereas planned and optimum use of resources has contributed in keeping the overall noise level low. 
Cities with town planning and demarcation for different zones have shown prominent results in noise management in comparison to their counterparts. Silent zone was found to be the most affected area category in the MMR due to unplanned development. Study also reveals that emerging and fast developing cities like Ulhasnagar and Bhivandi Nizampur are noisier when compared to developed and planned cities like Mumbai and Navi Mumbai. Need of the R is clearly a foolproof noise management action plan which shall require the actions including awareness on impact of noise pollution on human health and environment, awareness on benefit of using public transport rather than the private transport, awareness on maintenance of old vehicles and avoiding honking and loudspeakers. To ensure this awareness takes hold, stringent laws will have to be set up and also implemented strictly. Traffic management rules should be made more stringent to avoid honking and vehicular congestion. Loudspeaker or public address systems should be banned or monitored for use in processions or events. Compliance of stringent laws relies on foolproof policies that bind all the citizens. Commissioning various committees for enforcing noise management action plans to reduce high noise levels would be an effective step. Technological solutions should be provided such as modifications in vehicular traffic signal system, improvement in the sound barriers along the curbside, mandatory use of soundproof material in new construction would be helpful in reducing the impact of noise pollution. This study was widely covered in various newspapers and was also published in the International Journal of Environmental Monitoring and Assessment. It is time to educate those around us on the impact of noise pollution. It is time to act.